In this video, I'm talking under the RV storage, my tips and tricks to keeping this organized. So today, since we're fixing to close up the camper and head camping, I thought I would show you my tips and tricks because I've never really talked about up underneath the RV here. And I thought, well, what a better time to do it than today. The shelf that I made in here, I have a video on that and I will link it at the end of this video that goes into detail on how I did this. But I have really enjoyed having this shelf because this is such a tall space. It really is unusable because every time you go to get something out, it's always on the bottom. So you have to take everything out and then put everything back to get something out. So one of the big questions that I had gotten, well, not questions, people that had told me that I was gonna have a problem when I built this shelf is because this area is not made for heavy weights. And I tried to explain to them, I didn't put this shelf in here so that I could put more things in the RV. I put this shelf in there to make it more easy to access stuff under here. We live out of our camper during hunting season. So on top of the shelf, we'll put our guns on the top and then underneath we'll have our bags and our shoes. It's not anything that's really heavy. It just makes it more convenient to grabbing our guns out and grabbing out our backpacks rather than having to dig through everything to get everything out. And like I said, I have enjoyed this. You can look, I don't have anything crazy under our camper. I actually have a lot of room left in here to put more things. I don't know if I'm just a minimalist or what, but I just don't have a ton of stuff under here. And I have everything we have under here or we use, but we do not full-time. So I imagine that it would look a little different if we full-timed, but we just have the things that we use outside when we're at the campsite. Now, a few tips, tricks, things that I'd like to tell you about is one, I like to try to always use clear bins. That way you can see what's inside of them. Now I have taken my Cricut and labeled them and I really like the pictures rather than the words. I think sometimes your brain, or mine does, I don't know how yours is, I'm a very visual person. So it having a picture of what's going in there or what is in there helps me. I can look at that and grab it quicker than if I had to read the word. Tell me in the comments if that's, if you're a word person or if you're a picture person, because I'm a picture person. I love these little bins that I got at the Dollar Tree. They fit in here perfect. And it's great for little things that you just want to throw in here in excess really quick because you don't want anything super heavy in this little area. And now this, uh, this hammer, it stays up here in the top, but I had just moved it down there. And then I keep this towel out here. It is just in case you get in something and you need to dry your hands off real quick. I keep in one of these bins, I keep my lights that I keep on the side of the camper, my solar lights. I love these solar lights. I have gotten some off of Timu and some off of Five Below, but I will link some from Amazon that are just like them. If you're interested in them, I have three of them. And these are the first thing that I do when I get to a campsite is I put them up. And then also in the same tote, I have my suction cup hooks that I hang up. Now these are from Amazon. You can get the ones from the Dollar Tree and they do work and they'll work for a year or so. I do every once in a while, I have one that just won't stick, but for the price, they work great. But I have gotten these here. They're a little more heavy duty. And I really like this hook because when you clamp it down, it has a hook at the top and a hook at the bottom. But I like these suction cups. They cost a little bit more, but they're well worth the money. And I keep these in this like this to keep them clean because if they get dirty, they do not want to stick to the camper. These are book bins that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree as well. I have them over here. They have like my Dawn liquid soap. Bill sometimes likes to wash things off outside the camper. So I have him some Dawn out here. And then I just have some all purpose cleaner and some Hornet spray because you never know what you might need. 
Now I have this bucket that I made and I will link the video to that. But I had this bucket that I made that has lights in them. And then there's another bucket inside here. I have this bucket that I keep this bucket, which I use like an end table outside when we're camping. And then inside of it, I have all my lights that go around my campsite. And then I just have the small tote that I had gotten and it has all my bug stuff in it. It has my bug spray, my bug ozonator looking thingy, my, my, th my thermocell, and it has some candles and stuff here that are citronella. And I have that all in my bug tote. And then in my picnic tote, I have extra plates, napkins, forks. I have the picnic cover and stuff in there and some clamps just in case I need them for around the campsite. And then I have one that has like our, I have like barbecue stuff on it, but it has stuff for the fire. And it has the little lights that you throw in the fire to make it glow colored. Also, I have my marshmallow holders, weenie holders, that kind of things in there. Then I have an extra one in here that I have some extra tablecloths in because they all won't fit in my, <laughs> my other tote. And then, I, on top of my shelf, I have my rug, and then we have some games, and then we have our table. And the table that we have, it has little tables that are inside the table. So that whole thing just fits everything in there. Now, one thing that I did, because we have this TV here, it is hooked on a swing arm, and I have a bungee cord that keeps it together. And then I made this cover that goes on it. I made this cover and then in the cover it has the remotes stored on the TV. So it is a cover to keep it from getting scratched and also it has pockets in it for the remotes. And then because we have the TV out here, I took a tension rod and put it up and then I just got, it's just doubled up. It is just a painter's tarp. I've made this curtain so that when we have the TV up, it hides all our stuff under the bay. In the, when we go to the hunting club, we take this out because it's just in the way, but it's perfect while we're camping because it hides all our mess if we got the TV out. I do have just a broom laying up under here and a rug and a small rug as well. In this area, one day, Maybe we'll have some batteries or something in there, but right now it just has one battery in there. I just keep our chairs and our grill in there and that's it. That's all that stays in there. Now, finally on this side, and this is really Bill's side, he does somewhat keep it cleaned up. On top of that shelf, it comes not all the, I didn't make that shelf come all the way over here because he liked these totes and he already had them and they stacked on top of each other and they would not fit up under that. I put a little, again, I like my uh, visual. <laughs> this one is the sewer hose. This one is our water hose for our fresh water. Then he has just an extra water hose up here that he'll flush the tank and stuff with. It has our power cords up there and some sewer holds holder. And then we have the Lynx levelers. And then he just has his, this is like his miscellaneous tote. It's just got all kinds of things in there. I don't know what's all in there. It's got, it's got roof rubber stuff in case we ever have a problem with the roof and extra stuff. And then he has his gloves. And then that's kind of it. Like I said, I feel like we're minimalist. Now, I might be minimalist when having stuff, but I do like my decor. I have plenty of that. Till next time, like and subscribe.